Hi boys and girls. So today we are going to start a unit on a book. Now this book is one of my favorites so I hope that you love it just as much. Now before we get into reading and talking about this story, I want to just take a moment to look at the cover so we can figure out kind of what the book is going to be about. Okay, so the book is called Stella Luna. Now I want you to take a look at the cover here. What animal do you see on the cover? Go ahead, shout it out. What animal is this? Right, it's a bat. So this book is going to be about a bat who is named Stella Luna, okay? Now, this bat is not real. This is not a real story. This is a fiction story, so it is made up. So there will be some animals who are talking, and that doesn't normally happen in real life, right? Right. So I want you to remember that this story is just made up, okay? Now, we are going to break this book down into different days because it's sort of long and it can get a lot to remember. So we're going to read it in little short pieces and we're going to talk about it as we go through it, okay? So for today, we're going to read the first seven pages. And while we read these seven pages, I want you to be thinking about the story elements of Stella Luna, okay? Now you may be thinking, hmm, what are story elements? So let's just refresh our brains, okay? So, a, so story elements focus on the characters, so that who, that's who the story is about, the setting, that is where the story is taking place. And the story elements also focus on the important events. So what is happening in the story that is very important that we need to remember? And all three of those things will then help you to be able to retell the story to somebody who maybe hasn't read it before, okay? So as I start to read this book, I want you to really be thinking about the characters that you see and the setting, so where the story is taking place, okay? We will talk about it once we're done, but as I read, I want you thinking about that in your head, alrighty? Okay, so let's get going. So we are going to read Stella Luna, and it was written by Janelle Cannon. Also, you may see this sticky note up here. That's just so I know where to stop. Stella Luna. In a warm and sultry forest far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how Mother Bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, Mother Bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. Now let's stop right there on the first page. Do you see anything about the setting? Or did you hear me say anything about the setting? So where the story took place? Think about it. Hmm. You're right, I said in a warm and sultry forest, right? So the forest is our setting. It's where our story is taking place. Good job. Now let's also think, did we meet any characters on this page? Think about it. Did we meet any characters on the first page? You're right. We met Mother Bat and Stella Luna, her baby. Great job. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape, but the owl struck again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. <gasps> oh no! Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down, down she went faster and faster into the forest below. Oh no, what do we think is gonna happen to Stella Luna? Let's find out. The dark leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet. 
Wrapping her wings about her, she clutched the tiny branch, trembling with cold and fear. Mother, Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the baby bat could hold on no longer. Down, down, again she dropped. Flump! Stella Luna landed head first in a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered on from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh! Here comes Mama, hissed Pip. Now let's think about this. Did we meet any new characters? Did we just learn any new names? You're right! We met Flap, Flitter, and Pip. Those are the names of the three birds that Stella Luna landed in the nest with. Okay, so now we've met Mother Bird, Stella Luna, and Flap, Flitter, and Pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for the crawly things Mama Bird brought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Ooh, would you like to eat a grasshopper? Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. She ate bugs, even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing, except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eek! she cried. Get back up here this instant! You're going to fall and break your necks! So Stella Luna is hanging upside down because that's what bats do. So this is Stella Luna. And then Flip, who are the bird names? Let's go back, I forget their names. Flap, Flitter, and Pip, they're the birds, right? And they thought they would be like Stella Luna and hang upside down. But they're birds, and birds don't hang upside down like bats. So Mama Bird is very, very concerned because she doesn't want her babies to get hurt. The birds clamored back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped Stella Luna. You are teaching my children to do bad things. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Stella Luna promised. She ate bugs without making faces. She slept in the nest at night and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved as a good bird should. So that's where we're going to stop today, okay? Now, as we were reading, I would stop sometimes and ask you about the characters you were meeting, right? So let's think about it for a second. Take a moment to think, what characters have we met so far? Think about it. I'm gonna think about it with you. Okay, so I've thought of some characters. Did you think of Stella Luna? That's the baby bat that we met, right? So Stella Luna is one character. Another character was Mother Bat, right? At the very beginning, let me open the book back to where we met her. At the very beginning, we met Mother Bat, right? She was flying with Stella Luna, wrapped up closely to her. And then Stella Luna fell from Mother Bat, right? When the owl swooped down, so Stella Luna fell. But we met Mother Bat and Stella Luna, right? And then who was next? Stella Luna fell into a nest with three new characters. What were their names? Hmm, think about it. Let me turn to the page so we can refresh our memory. Stella Luna fell, fell, fell into a nest with Flap, Flitter, and Pip. Remember, this is where Stella Luna fell. So then we met Flap, Flitter, and Pip, right? And then there was one more character I think that we met. 
think about it, who else did we meet? Hmm. Who was feeding Stella Luna? Good, Mama Bird, right? So here you can see Mama Bird feeding Stella Luna. So we met Mama Bird. And then here you can see her again, right? Good. So we met kind of a lot of characters at the beginning of the story, right? Good. Now, at the beginning, I also stopped us and we talked about the setting of the story, where it took place. Who remembers where this story is taking place so far? Who can think about it? Hmm. Where is Stella Luna taking place? Hmm. Good, the forest, right? At the very beginning on the first page, it said that they were in a forest. And then we saw the birds in their nest, right? So that's taking place in a forest. Very good, okay? So that's all we're going to read of Stella Luna today. And I wanted to make sure that we understood the characters and the setting. So now what I want you to do is on this seesaw activity that you're watching this link from, go back to it and there's a template for you to fill out. I want you to circle the characters that you have met so far. I want you to circle the setting of the story. And then once you've done both of those things, I want you to record yourself just giving us a little bit of example as to how you know the book is happening in the setting that you choose, okay? So whatever setting you circle, I want you to then to record yourself and tell us a little bit more about it, okay? And then tomorrow we will read more of Stella Luna and talk about it more. Great job today.